What's up everyone? I'm back and I'm just hanging out in my room. I'm doing an intro for a voiceover video like I did before. My last video was the five most incredible abandoned mansions and now I'm going to be doing five abandoned mansions that once belonged to celebrities today. Some celebrities that either left their house behind and it fell abandoned or they died or just moved on and it's now used for something else. But either way, I'm going to be explaining all the details, the facts and history about these houses, where they're at today, if they're still standing. And and future plans they have for these homes. For someone like myself who explores all the time, I had no clue that there were big celebrities like who are mentioned in this video that had abandoned houses that they even left behind. So this was super fun for me to make and I hope you enjoy. Let's get to it. Up first, we have Mike Tyson's mansion. Located in Ohio, the world heavyweight champion boxer moved into his 14,000 square foot mansion. He moved in to be close to the promoter Don King. By 1988, Mike was living in high style, purchasing expensive cars, mansions, and even a $2 million bathtub. The Ohio estate included many lavishly decorated rooms. The house had five bedrooms, two full kitchens, an indoor pool that was bigger than some houses, even tiger cages. Mike owned three Bengal tigers, costing $70,000 each. The massive rooms in the house were covered with zebra print carpet. The ceilings were high and lined with wood, making it seem like a log cabin. Tyson lived here until March 26, 1992, when he was convicted of a sexual assault and sentenced to six years in prison. He was only 25. So where's the house at today? It is still sitting in Ohio with plans of becoming a church. Up next is the Pink Floyd Mansion. David Gilmore, a member of the band Pink Floyd, left behind his mansion named Hook End Manor. Hook End is an 11 bedroom mansion in South Oxfordshire, which sits on 25 acres. The house even has a recording studio that was used by Rod Stewart, Tom Jones, the Kaiser Chiefs, and Spandau Ballet. Gilmore also used it to record some of Pink Floyd's 1987 album, A Momentary Lapse of Reason. Even abandoned, the house is still valued at $12 million. As of February. The house was sold by David in the 1990s to legendary pop producer Trevor Horn. The vast estate has remained vacant since 2007 after a tragic shooting accident involving Horn's wife. The house once featured a heated swimming pool, a croquet lawn, and even a tennis court. An urban explorer even went inside and discovered a tombstone of a seven-year-old child in the basement, which belonged to Little Jack, who died in 1909. Up next we have Neverland Ranch. Located in California, Neverland Valley Ranch was Michael Jackson's home for 17 years. The King of Pop fell in love with the ranch when he first visited while Paul McCartney was staying there in the 80s. Michael later purchased it in 1988 for 30 million dollars. This mansion sits on 3,000 acres that Michael converted into an amusement park that contained two railroads and a zoo. The amusement park featured a ferris wheel, carousel, zipper, octopus, pirate ship, wave swinger, super slide, roller coaster, bumper cars, and even an amusement arcade. Inside his mansion, the King of Pop displayed his extensive art collection. Not to mention his master closet also contained a secret safe room for security. In 2003, when Michael Jackson was charged with multiple counts of molesting a minor, the Neverland Ranch was searched multiple times by law enforcement. As a result, Jackson stated that he would never live at this property again as he no longer considered the ranch a home. By 2006, the facilities were closed and most of the staff were dismissed. After Michael Jackson's death, the Neverland Ranch has remained closed and has fallen into despair. Today, the ranch is being sold for an asking price of $100 million. This next house I was super surprised about and didn't even know existed. And it is the absolute legendary icon Bruce Lee's house. Bruce Lee's Hong Kong home was almost 6,000 square feet located in Kowloon Peninsula. Bruce lived in this house until he passed away in 1973. After Lee's death, Hong Kong billionaire Yu Panglin bought the house for $1 million, which he turned into a love hotel. Yu had plans on turning it into a Bruce Lee museum featuring a cinema and multiple exhibits. Sadly, he never got to fulfill this dream. Panglin passed away before they could even get the plans for the museum, and until this day, Bruce Lee's house is rotting away. The house is currently on the market for $100 million. 
Last but not least, we have the Minnelli Mansion. Located in Beverly Hills, right next to the famous Beverly Hills Hotel, sits former stage director and movie director Vincent Minnelli's abandoned mansion. The Minnelli Mansion is 5,800 square foot and it was built in 1925, but it was redesigned by famous Hollywood architect John Wolfe. Vincent ended up dying in the house in 1986, willing his widow, Lee, lifetime use of the property. But it wasn't until 2009 when Lee, who was 100 years old, eventually passed away in the home also. The Minnelli Mansion was later sold for $2.3 million. The new owners first talked about restoring the place and then they discussed about demolishing it, neither of which have happened and the house is currently rotting away. Until they get their act together, the mansion remains super cool, very creepy, and a place for squatters to stay. I think that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed all the history, all the facts. I hope you learned something. Maybe you guys are just as surprised as big time people like who were mentioned have these type houses that are just left behind and still rotting away. Please follow all my social media. I know the links are on the screen and they are also in the description, so please check them out. I also have a Patreon account, which is like a donation site, but you get rewarded for your donation. So if you donate $1, you get this prize. If you donate this, you get this prize. So it could be anything from talking to me on the phone to even getting free merch it would mean the world if you guys can check that page out it's on the screen right now and it's the top link in the description that helps fund my explores and all the videos I post so please check that out like I said also I'm having my website and everything made for my merchandise the future designs and everything they're all gonna be coming out very soon so stay on the lookout for that and with that being said please like comment subscribe and I will see you in the next video later